G'day everyone, this is Lachlan Black from AutoCADTrainingBlog.com and today I have another DailyAutoCAD.com video for you. This one is using the extrude command. Now we've got a few options with the extrude command. We can just extrude straight, we can taper off to a point, or we can make the extrusion follow a path. I'll be showing you all three today, so we'll get stuck into it. Okay, so to get started, what we'll do is we'll go into 2D mode and we will get our 3D view from the top. That brings us up from the top. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just zoom out a little bit there. Okay, so this one here, I believe, is the one I've extruded. We'll just have a quick look. It is. Okay, so these with these two here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you straight up. Um, I'll just copy this one first. Straight across here. Okay, so this first one, we're just going to extrude it straight up, like the example I had in the last uh, screenshot. Okay, so I'll extrude this one, and by a height of 100. So there we go, if we go to the conceptual mode, and if we orbit around that a bit, there we go, it looks exactly the same. Okay, so with the next one, what we're going to do is we are going to taper it. So I'm going to put a height of 50 on it, and I'm also going to put a taper of 5 degrees on. So it's going to have a 5 degree slope on all sides, which is going to make it taper in. We'll have a look. As you can see, the taper command is down here. There's direction, path, and taper. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go T for taper. And the angle of taper is 5. And then the height is going to be 50. Okay, so as you can even see in 2D mode there that it's, that it's tapered that in. So we'll have a look at it in conceptual to get a better view. And there we go, as you can see, that has tapered, and that'll look a lot like in the tutorial at Daily AutoCAD. Okay, now the final one is actually running the extrusion along a path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the path for it. It's just going to be like a U-shape running uh, perpendicular from it, and going across and then coming back down. And then, and this, will run it along that, and that will give us our extrusion. The easiest way that I've found to make sure that the line is perpendicular that, that we're tracing is to just go into the 2D wireframe mode and then get a view, a 3D view from the front. So it's like we're looking front on and then we can trace our path so that it's perfectly perpendicular. So what we'll do, zoom out a bit, pan across, there we go, so what we have to do is just use a polyline and then I'm just going to use the center point and we'll go up 200 and then we'll go across 300 and then down 200 again. So there we go, there's the path for our extrusion. Now what we have to do is we just have to extrude it. So what we'll do is we will type extrude and select our object and then what we'll do is we choose path so P for path and then we select the path which is this one and there we go it has automatically done that now what we'll do we'll go to conceptual and there you go you can see that that has extruded that and what we'll do is we'll orbit around as you can see it has extruded that along that path so that's useful uh, for using anything that might follow a path, a handrail, um, things like that, or really anything. So that's that. That's how to use the extrude command. I hope you enjoyed this one, brought to you by AutoCAD Training Blog and Daily AutoCAD. As always, if you would like some more tutorials, uh, head over to AutoCADTrainingBlog.com or you can also head over to DailyAutoCAD.com. Okay, see you in the next one.